Hello, I'm Maria Fitchuk. I'm a dermatologist and anti-aging medicine specialist. I was born in Ukraine actually, and because of the war, I had to move on. And right now I'm here in California and actually um, trying to figure out how I can contribute to incredible world community. And I'm doing my best to continue what I have already started uh, in my country. I want to create absolutely another feeling of for every person in the world to know better on how we change with age, how we do structure our changes, how we can actually fix that, and what vitamins we can use to feel ourselves better, uh, what actually we can do to stop the physical, mental, probably even spiritual aging from inside out. So here in this channel, we will figure out how to stop the time and how to feel the best we can. So today uh, we're going to talk about how we really change with age. Today we're going to talk about the face. So how our face changes with age. First of all, we need to understand that our face is a multi-layer structure. First, the basement of our face is our bone. So the bone, actually the skeleton, right? The skull, the bone, on top of the bone, we have our deep fat then we have the muscles and the ligaments and then superficial fat and then the skin so again bone deep fat muscle and ligaments then a superficial fat and the skin if we talk about the bone we need to understand that we unfortunately lose the bone tissue while aging why it happens uh, when our reproductive hormones start to decrease our estrogen level progesterone level our testosterone level in men when these reproductive hormones go down our parad hormone goes up Parad hormone is a hormone which is released by our parathyroid glands. They are like cups on top of our thyroid. And this hormone is so uh, responsible for a perfect calcium level in our blood. And in order to create the perfect calcium level in our blood, this hormone takes the calcium from the bone. What does it mean for you, for me? It means that if five, ten years ago we had our bone structures to be more projected, if we had more, um, more vibrant, more structured lower, lower face, uh, when we had our oval to be more projected and more supported, it means we had more lower face bone structure and then while aging we lose the bone this is number one what happens next the deep fat pads while aging unfortunately we lose the deep fat and while losing the deep fat volume we lose the support it means when you first for example when you were 25 26 first uh, for example, you figured out that uh, in the mid-cheek area, under eye area probably, you started to feel a little bit of tiredness. You looked in the mirror and realized, oh, I do not look so fresh as I used to look. This is that. When we lose the deep fat, we lose the supportive structure, the supportive volume, and then the um, upper structures go down. The muscles and ligaments, they change as well. The muscles on the face, 
they can be levators and depressors. Levators are those muscles um, which actually can elevate, can help to lift uh, everything up. And depressors, they help for all the structures to go down. So, while aging, we have some depressors to be stronger. And unfortunately, the levators, so lifting muscles, they become weaker because of the gravity. How can we manage that? We can manage that with the botulinum toxin te therapy and as well as myomodulation therapy with fillers. We will discuss all of these things. So muscles change, the ligaments change as well. What is actually the ligament? Ligament is the connective tissue structure which is connected with one side on the bone, it starts on the bone, and then it inserts the skin. So having this perpendicular structure starting on the bone and inserting the skin of the ligaments on our face, they fix all the facial structures and while aging the ligaments they got lower so unfortunately if before we had 90 degree if we think of the bone and the ligament later we have more acute angle down and uh, we increase the number of um, numbers up so unfortunately the ligament structures they got um, a little bit lower. Why? Because underneath the ligament, you remember, will lose fat. What uh, goes next? The superficial fat. The superficial fat can be increased in volume while aging and unfortunately it slides down. So, one more time, deep fat will lose deep fat but superficial fat can be added in volume and it can slide down. And understanding this structure, it's very, very important how can we fix our um, aging changes. The superficial fat right under the skin creates uh, another supportive role for our skin actually. And then we understand that our skin can be damaged in two ways. Corona damaged and photo damaged. The corona damage of the skin means coronas from Greek with time. Uh, this means that actually the thinning of the skin because of the hormonal disbalance. So our skin gets thinner, gets atrophic thinner with age because of hormonal decrease. And at the same time, we have the photo damage. So how the sun, while creating such a beautiful thing as serotonin level for our brain and is so important for our mood, at the same time, it can be damaging for our skin. So creating a photo damage for the skin as well. We will discuss this in details in the next video. So please subscribe not to miss very important information for you. So we understand that with this very deep structure changes, we have the superficial changes as, as well. And the photo damage of the skin creates irregularities in color, um, in vessels. So it can be irregular a surface of the skin with lots of dead cells on top. How to change it, we will definitely discuss. So one more time, bone is getting less, deep fat is getting smaller, then muscles, they change the ligaments, they can um, get loose, and then superficial fat can be increased uh, in size and can slide down, and then the superficial structures so the skin itself can be thinned and at the same time photo damaged. So all this definitely can be reversed. How we can move on? What can we do for the bone structure? 
Uh, the bone structure, according to the recommendation of American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, when we are 35 years old or a little bit more mature, we really need to take every single day calcium supplements. So calcium, perfect for like perfect form of calcium, which is very well balanced price wise and absorption level wise is calcium citrate. And uh, every morning I take my 1000 milligram of calcium citrate to support my bone structure. As well as to support the bone structure, we can go to our anti-aging specialist to prescribe uh, anti-aging supplements or probably even bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy. But about this, we will definitely discuss in our later videos. So for deep fat, to create the restructure of the whole volume on the face, what can we do? We can substitute our lost fat with filler. So we can use filler, they are different. But I'm talking right now about the hyaluronic acid filler deeply on the bone in this way so that we can support the muscles and the ligaments and all the upgoing tissues. How does it create the changes in our facial structures? We just can make ourselves look as we looked 5, 10, 15, even 20 years ago. Because when we lose fat, we can uh, restructure this volume on the deep bone level just with hyaluronic acid filler. And this is very important to use the precise hyaluronic acid filler so that it doesn't cause the swelling but creates a wonderful lifting, no swelling and full tissue integration. This is just uh, the Juvederm Vicarus range. We will discuss in details later. How can we do that? Uh, we can easily go on the bone just with a needle. We substitute the volume instead of we had fat and right now we substitute that volume with hyaluronic acid filler. And then we create the lifting of the muscles and ligaments to create the lifting of our face. We can restore the temporal area as well. We can even work with the forehead area. We can create fresher, more youthful, incredibly moisturized, but totally dynamic and natural look. It really depends on how we do that, what kind of product we use, and uh, how we stand for the natural result. So important to work with the product where, which is fully tissue integrated to create just natural mimics, natural smile, and at the same time lifted uh, structure. It's very important to understand that if we go deep on the bone, we create the lifting. But if we take, uh, for example, such very interesting um, instrument as cannula, we can go just superficially because cannula cannot go deep on the bone without creating very painful sensation. So uh, without causing lots of pain, we cannot be on the bone if we work with cannula. Cannula is like a blunt needle, long blunt needle. So it cannot damage the vessels, the nerves, it just uh, goes left or right. It's uh, gliding. Uh, but at the same time, if we want to go deeply and very precise, the needle is definitely the instrument for choice. Because if we just put on top of our uh, decreased volume and lost volume deep fat, we just go superficially with the cannula, we just add this water. Hyaluronic acid, for example, can be high molecular weight and it absorbs more water and even if thinking um, in two, three month perspective, it can create even more sagging because it doesn't create the support. It just create more superficial volume and more superficial swelling. And it's actually 
not rejuvenating it doesn't create the beautification so first we need to take care of deep structures we need to restore the deep structures anatomy loving and understanding very deep anatomy and only after that we go more superficial and next time we will go very deeply in details with every single zone of the face with uh, describing a lot of things which are really interested thank you so much for your attention i hope you have um something you you've got something from this video which was really important for you and please share here and don't forget to subscribe not to miss another video thank you